So what I've just done there is set the auto exposure level back to zero. The setting I was using was one I obtained from the Doug Jensen settings and just wanted to try it on zero. Good afternoon and I thought I'd come out again because we've got some decent light this afternoon. I'll show you the two modes straight off the camera or as straight off the camera as it can be and then we'll do a white and I'll show you how you can make it look uh, using the settings that I use in Premiere Pro. Um, I don't use any LUTs to get the look. I just take it off the basic settings and adjust it to how I like the image to look on my monitor, on my computer monitor. Obviously that's quite a personal thing so people will adjust differently but it is adjustable but I thought it's also interesting to see just what does it look like straight off the camera. Um, so this is live mode and this is intended for streaming. So, so the dogs have gone quite a way away. Okay. I think he does want to drink after all the digging he's been doing. Gain set at three at the moment. I might just drop that down to zero. See what effect it has on the noise. Yeah, that's zero. D filters have just taken care of that. So as I look at that sky now, there is blue in it. Grass is still a bit of faded winter green. If you were a model maker, you'd know that what that meant. the dogs more or less on full zoom now. Of course this unpredictability is great for practicing for my dressage test. She's thumping around the head but she does come back for more. Do insist on running into the camp and tripod as well. So that's live, adjusted, and wipe that across, and that's live straight off the camera.
So that's HLG Natural. That's it without the corrections in Premiere Pro. And that's it back with the corrections. And that's one tired pointer enjoying some spring sunshine. I say there is blue in those skies. As I look in the viewfinder, there's blue. Boris does have this strange habit of to be a hedge layer or a hedge destroyer but let's go in the hedgerows like that and then pull in a branch out which is most annoying one useful feature with the phone I found is that you can actually use the phone and press the white balance from the phone which is very useful when you're working on your own like this hopefully we got a good white balance A bird. So a little bit more in natural mode. Blue sky. It looks slightly bluer in the viewfinder than it does in reality. And a bit of wind there across the microphone. Sorry about that. Once again, that's taking my Premiere Pro settings off. So that's HLG Natural out of the camera. And that's HLG Natural with a few adjustments in Premiere Pro. So I'm just going to finish there. Get the camera set in natural mode and take my settings off put my settings back on uh, quite a pleasing day today um, I do believe the face recognition autofocus has recognized me and picked up my face put me in nice clear focus that's good um, had lots of fun with the um, proxy files, watching those back on the phone, that's a very clever facility. What I haven't quite worked out is how you how you get the um, camera to record those. It's, it is recording them, but when I was pressing the buttons earlier it kept saying not available, but obviously some things were right because the proxy files are there. Uh, so that's all good. Um, Boris's nose is very muddy, um, so he's going to need cleaning up. He's chewing a piece of wood at the moment down here, so hopefully uh, that'll keep him quiet. Although it's a horrible, prickly piece of wood, so I think it's going to do him a lot of good. So, as I said this morning, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Uh, keep it up, we're going to monetize the channel. We're going to see how much income we can make from that um, and hopefully we'll soon be out with the camera recording some real dressage action, real eventing action 
and life will be getting a little bit more back to normal. So thank you very much and over for, and out for now. Come on then you two. <laughs>